In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the payback method when the payback period is not an integer. For example, let's say it's 2.4 years or 2.7 years, something like that. So let's jump into an example. Let's say that there's a firm that has a required payback period for this type of project of three years. Okay, so if the project hasn't recouped its initial investment within three years, then we're not going to accept that project, right? So the initial investment for this project, let's call it Project A, is $80,000. So we're going to forecast the cash flows for Project A, and if we don't get at least $80,000 within three years, if we don't pay, if this project doesn't pay for itself, pay for that $80,000, within three years if we can't break even then we're gonna reject project A so then the question is we have to calculate a payback period of this project how quickly does this project pay itself back so we're gonna look and we're gonna see that in year one this project has cash flow of thirty thousand dollars that we're receiving and then in year two it's forty thousand dollars so we see that between year one and year two we're receiving a total of seventy thousand dollars now, if you remember, we put up 80000 so the project hasn't quite paid for itself yet. We're still $10,000 short. But when you look at year three, you look at year three, we we're receiving 50000 And we were just 10000 short, so we're definitely going to have this project pay itself back sometime during year three. But if somebody were to ask you, what is the actual payback period? How quickly does this project pay itself back? We know that the answer is going to be somewhere between two and three years. The question is, how do we calculate how much? So we see that we are 10,000 short. We're 10,000 short coming into year three. I got that by taking the 80,000 upfront invested minus the 70,000 we received in the first two years, right? So when we say, okay, let's look at this 50,000 we receive in year three, what we're going to do is we're going to take the 10,000 we need to break even as of year three, we're going to take that 10,000 and divide it by the 50,000 that we receive in year three, okay? So that's going to give us 0.2, all right? If you take 10,000 divided by 50,000, that's 0.2. And so we're going to see that the actual payback period for this, for this project is going to be 2.2 years. And so I got that by just saying, look, we, we know it's going to take these two years, right? And we know it's not going to take the full three years because we, we actually end up getting, was the 70, 120,000 if you add up all three years, right? So it's going to pay itself back sometime in this year. And when we're actually taking the 10,000 divided by 50,000, we're basically saying, okay, it's take, take about one-fifth. Let's take about one-fifth of the year. So you could even say two and one-fifths years, right? That's equivalent to saying 2.2, right? So if somebody were to ask you, if the manager says, look, how quickly does Project A pay itself back? We would say 2.2 .2 years.